hello tea lovers now do you guys remember that time when i did a video last year i think it was in 2021 and i was basically talking about how this was actually the end of the Nicki minaj hate train now one thing i've learned in life is you can only create a false narrative about someone for so long until people actually realize you know that you've been making all these things up and that you've been mobilizing people to not like this person for your own benefit now, if you've been on the internet streets for the past two weeks, you probably noticed something. Now, in this video, I'm not going to say that any of these two women is a saint. But I mean, we have seen that one that's actually less of a saint has painted the other to be like the villain, to be the bad guy. Whilst in reality, really, it was not like that. Do you know what I'm saying? And I do, in as much as I also want to blame her, I want to blame the people that were gassing her up the people that were misleading her the people that were feeding her with lies giving her unrealistic uh, targets and standards basically lying to her that she was better um she was you know in the same league if not better than somebody who ran the game for 10 years in my own opinion you can only be slow all right for you to believe such a lie do you guys remember when Lady Leisha came out and said that a certain record label actually offered her a deal? Um, but the condition was she had to go against Nicki Minaj. But Lady Leisha, being the smart woman that she is, she knew that, of course, the hype could be created, but it would only take, you know, it, 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 it wouldn't even take five years for people to notice that the, the talent is not, it's not the same. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Now, listen, in this video, we're gonna get candid so if you know that you get, you get offended quickly you might as well just click off but here in this video we want to talk about fix all right now for the longest of time well throughout these past years people have warred on this wave that Nicki Minaj is such a bad person or she does this or she's old and guys to show you that this like what this lady says about Nicki Minaj I'm just going to call her she who must not be named okay just for the fun of it really because i i just find it like i don't want to get sued also but i know that i'm not gonna say any lie in this video but it, i just find it fun to call her she who must not be named um so to prove to you guys that this lady doesn't really um get all these ideas from her own mind it's people or you know management or her team that actually feeds her with those lies until she begins to actually believe it you keep uh, like her main point of attack even her and the younger sister is that Nicki minaj is old so i think when they were you know when they were trying to gas her up they were telling her that you know what Nicki minaj is old you're the new blood you know she's just gonna go out she's going out sad she's gonna be like little kim do, do you know what do you get what i'm saying that's what she had in mind but what she didn't realize is that the legacy that Nicki minaj had created for herself these past years was too big of a legacy to just be discredited by sympathy and payola and i don't say this in a shady way because deny it all you want you know that the upper hand that this lady had above any other lady in the rap game is probably the team the management the the record label they were like they invested a lot in her do you know what i'm saying and now in 2022 she never like Nicki minaj coming back in the scene was never one thing that she saw coming so of course when she stepped back into the rap game in 2022 it disturbed her do you know what i'm saying it obviously disturbed her because she didn't expect Nicki minaj was gonna come back she thought that you know she was just gonna go back in hiding and stuff like that but it did not play out as she wanted that's why you see that now she's bitter to the extent of fighting anyone you know any and everyone who seems to work with Nicki Minaj who seems to still want Nicki Minaj's approval because in reality even if you're a bub or buddy gang or an icy girl or I, I don't know all these fan fan bases you know very well deep down in your hearts okay that Nicki Minaj and she who must not be named could never be on the same level because she is a reciter she's a reciter <laughs> 
not a reciter a reciter and Nicki minaj is actually a rapper so this has got nothing like this is not this is not a, an emotional video we're just speaking logic so for you to go around saying oh she's this she's that and Nicki minaj is this it doesn't make sense now my time is running out so i'm going to make a part two of this video if you would like to see more videos like this subscribe part two is coming